Only the power of Mithril could banish the djinn. That's why the djinn cursed this town once it found out how the nearby mines were packed with the stuff. Of course. Okay. Mines. Woo. Howdy there. Sid's the name. I'm from Kanan, but I've been stuck here ever since Nell Valley got blocked by a giant rock. Oh no. On top of that, I got a curse cast on me along with these other folks. Ain't that a trip and a half? Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! You can just hear the depression in his voice. Lunith, we have to do something to help these people. I mean, do we? Do we really? Say, if I lent you my airship, do you lads think you could help me in these other saps? Yeah, probably. From what I hear, this curse can be dispelled through the power of a mithril ring. Unfortunately, we all seem to be out of mithril rings here. Even if we could get the mithril, Taka the smith has been turned into a ghost himself, and his daughter, the apprentice, has gone missing! Oh no, a kidnapped daughter! That's perfect for my next, uh, member of the party. My airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to find a way to lift this curse. Keep in mind, you can get on or off the airship by pressing return. Same goes for all other vehicles, too. You got that? No, I don't quite understand what's what's pressing. I don't... I don't get it. If only we had the mythal ring that the blacksmith forged, it's the only thing that may banish the jinn. Okay, wait. He said his ship is in the west. Yeah, desert west. Okay. The jinn we had vanished into the sealed cave was released by the earthquake and cast a curse on us all. Sorry about that, friends. But now I know where to go, I'm going to stop wasting my time here with ghosts. Maybe see if there's anything cool up here. Oh, look, like, this is the mines, I'm sure, where the, the jinn is. Yeah, okay. First I'm going to go get the airship, though. And then I guess find some mithril somewhere, I don't really know. Oh crap, did he say where to find the mithril ring? I'll figure it out. This looks like a desert. Oh. Cool. I guess I just jump on. Er, who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship and he's letting us use it. Oh, this is my, my token chick. Awesome. Raised in Kazus by the Mithril Smith, Taka, whose rigorous training led her to run away from home. Again. Okay, so she's a rebel without a cause or with a cause. Who knows? Can't be confined by the trappings of small town life and Mithril Smithing. Refia sounds like a fine name. I'm Refia, and I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts for this ship back in Kazus. So that means you're the blacksmith's daughter? You have to help us make a mithril ring. Yes, that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse on Kazus. I... I can't. I can't make mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. Oh great, a useless blacksmith's daughter. Swell. I don't think Sid's going to be particularly happy with that news. Wait, I know where we can find a ring. My father forged a mithril ring for King Sassane a long time ago. He should still have it. Let me go with you. I can't make mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazus. I think she should come with us, Lunas. Me too. Slacking off saved her from the curse, so maybe that luck might rub off on us. Hey, that's not funny. Yay, another new party member! I wonder how I'm going to get my last one. Probably by going to King Sassanu. Just buried under the sand, apparently. Alright. Interesting, I still can't pass through a rock even though I'm literally flying. Okay. That's a cave. That's cool. That's a castle. That's probably where I need to go next. This game is going a lot faster than other uh, 
other Final Fantasy games. Usually you gotta build up a long time before you get to, uh, really get into the flying and stuff. Well, I say usually, but on, like, the newer-ish ones, the PlayStation and PlayStation, uh, uh, 2 and etc. ones. Although, really, Final Fantasy has gotten more and more linear as it goes on. Just, they've removed a lot of the open world from <clears throat> from the earlier games and some of the later ones. Um, like, I didn't really notice until it was pointed out to me, but 10 is, uh, pretty linear. And I always thought 13 was the most, but 10 is pretty straight-lined. Yikes! Okay, it's time to run. Does anyone remember how to run? Alright, I'm gonna die here. Don't know how to leave. This is just what I'm gonna do. Alright, Rafia, I'm gonna need you to, uh, win it for us. She's not gonna win it for us. Okay, let's try that again. <sighs> Alright. Off to find my friend. Alright, bruh. Let's go. Yes, yes, you freak out. Can I, like, skip this any faster? Oh man, who's this blank person? Why, that must be Sid. Bet you got a curse just like the rest of the people in town. I wonder if I can find the blacksmith and he'll be like, Oh, my poor daughter. I suppose that would be in, like, the weapon shop. How many times do I have to say it? No, I don't have any mithril rings. Or right here. <laughs> Want to get rid of this curse as much as you, but how am I to temper mithril as a ghost? Even if I weren't cursed, I couldn't work unless I knew my daughter was safe. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have been so harsh in training her. Well, at least you understand. Okay. Now to the airship and to grab that last part. Well, second to last party member. Alright. This time we're not going to go into that cave. This time we're going to go straight to the castle. Before we do anything else, can we save on the airship? Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay. I guess we should also check their equipment. Yeah, I'm still happy with you. Wait, can I... Can I dual wield? <gasps> yes! I love dual wielding. Two long swords, bruh. Don't need no defense when I got long swords. You will also dual wield. And let's see, magic. You will take on Luneths. Awesome. Okay. Um, formation, you get in the back row because you're our healer. Because I refuse to let the token girl also be the token healer. So. Let's save again just to be super sure. Stop hitting escape when I mean backspace. And let's go see Sasanu. Sir Sasune, whatever. Hey, you look like a new party member. <clears throat> a terrible curse had befallen the people in Castle Sasune while I was gone. Only the power of a mithril ring may save them, I am told. Kazus is suffering from the same fate as Sasune. I must do something, but where will I find a mithril ring? I am the daughter of the blacksmith of Kazus. The king must still have the ring my father made him. 
we've come to bar the king's myth or ring to save causes. Will you let us through? Her mur, mur, mur. An audience with the king. Yes, I, I believe I can arrange that. Come, I will be waiting in the throne room. When do I learn how to, like, do jobs? Is it when this knight joins my party? Because he's a knight, and he's special? Oh my god, I'm gonna go raid all of the castle stores. Ah! Why are there enemies here? Come on. Not cool, man. Yeah, yeah, y'all pack a punch. I get it. I think I have them in the wrong, uh... The wrong rows. We'll have to fix that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely gotta fix that. Ay. Ay. Cool. This is really not going well. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fix this now. There you go. Oof. That, that kind of sucks, but hey. Now our people with most offense can be right up front and hitting them with the big bucks. That's not cool. All right, Ark, do some magic. All right. Guess I probably should go hang out in the world and train with these guys a bit. Maybe go like get some weapons and, and stuff from other people. That might be a good idea. Maybe. From people who aren't, like, cursed and stuff. Well, with only one enemy, it should go pretty fast. A lot faster than the other one. Yeah. Alright. Woohoo! Everyone gets a level... You get a level, and you get a level. And your job even gets a level. Alright, did I waste my time? I wasted my time. I could probably go check out that weapons rack, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go get some equipment from my hometown. Alright. Weapons, what you got? How much money? I, I have a decent amount. <gasps> I can give people bows and staffs and arrows. Do I have to buy arrows for my boat? Like, really? Really? That sucks. Alright, I'll get Ark a bow. And I guess a couple of arrows. Ah, oh, man. This sucks. All right, I'll get a long sword for the girl too. I'll get a staff too. Let's just get one of everything. All right, let's go see what armor we've got. You get a bow and I guess some arrows. Leather cap, leather armor. Okay, now you get a shield. Suppose I didn't need to buy an extra longsword. Well, no, because I want to give the girl two longswords, so that's good. Okay. Um, oh, arms. That's right. Everyone has bracers. Upgrade your armor. There's nothing else there. Okay. You get longswords. Everybody gets a longsword. What does this do? It doesn't talk about giving more magic power, but it probably does that. In the meantime, um, yeah, everything else looks good. You get some bracers, everyone's got bracers, everyone's got weapons. Gotta stop hitting escape. Okay, 